What is up YouTube? So guys, it's me Alex back at you with another video. Guys, this is going to be a very short video. This is just a how to on to how to do the auto race in Forza Horizon 5. If you guys do not know what I'm talking about, it's basically you, you're tuning the settings of your um, game to create an environment where your car can drive itself. Basically the AI of the system is driving your car for you. So let's say you guys want to do one of those 8 hour races and you're really not feeling up to it or you're just not really in the mood to race but you still want to make some money then you're welcome to try this out because it really does work nicely when you um, use this type of feature in the game. I've completed one of those 8 hour races before and let me well mine was actually 10 hours but let me tell you guys I was really glad I found out that cheat code before I did that race because I really did not want to do it and after seeing how long it took I was really glad I didn't do it but without further ado I'm going to show you guys how to do it so first of all as you guys can see I'm using the Pagani um, for this race this is a Forza edition Pagani as you go as I will show you guys now so as you guys can see this is the for Pagani Waira Forza edition I am using a Forza edition car because it gives you skills boost which allows you to gain more perk points during the race even without you doing anything so it's really nice to use a, a Forza edition car for this because then that allows you to make more perk points and as you guys know you can use the perk points to unlock experience or Forza phone points or wheel spins or money but and another thing is you guys have to choose a car that has great handling because if the AI is not able to control the car good enough then it will spin out and it will cause problems in the race so you guys have to make sure that you are choosing a car that has good handling but without further ado, let me get to a race and then I'll show you guys what to do. Alright, so I'm just going to select a race close to us. One that I have not done yet. And preferably a short race. Where have we got? All right, here's one. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Okay, it's not that close, but I guess we'll have to do. In 100 meters, turn right. All right, guys. So I'm just gonna cut out um, from here, and then you guys will see me again when we're at the race. All right. So as you guys can see, we have safely arriven or well not safely as you can see from the remnants of my car but otherwise we have arrived safely at the destination so what you guys are, what you guys are go gonna want to do first is you will have to open the settings menu in your menu tab and you will have to access the difficulty settings then you guys can keep the drive tower difficulty on whatever you want just make sure you're having a nice handling car and one that's pretty fast on acceleration and stuff like that then you want to gonna come down to braking and turn on assisted braking and with steering you're gonna want to turn on auto steering with traction control you want to leave that on stability control you can leave it on or off I usually prefer it off because it gives me a 10% bonus credit boost with shifting you can keep that on automatic and then driving line it's not really necessary to turn on the driving line but I prefer it on full so that I can see what my car is doing during the race damage and tire wear you can keep cosmetic and rewind you can keep on if you want because it's not going to affect your credit score your credits score on the like it's not going to increase it or decrease it at all then you're going to want to save that and continue okay from here on we're gonna want to access the race and select solo and then you guys can choose whichever race you want I'm just gonna choose the standard 8.9 kilometer race for this car and then you are gonna want to make sure you choose the car that you want to race it with like I said I'm gonna use the Forza edition Pagani 
So without further ado, select that car and then get into the race and wait for the start race menu to come up. Alright, as you guys can see, here we are. Alright guys, so for this next step I've decided to get away from the Xbox's recording system because I want to show this to you guys in person. So if you want to do this, um, it's going to help you get through the long races like the 8 hour races. Like let's say you want to do like 5 laps of the Goliath or something like that. And you don't want to be keeping your butt, your finger on the accelerator button the entire time. You guys are welcome to try this out. You can take a piece of tape and you can literally just tape down the accelerator button or if you guys do not have tape you're welcome to use rubber bands that you can wrap around like that and then you can use that to hold down the accelerator button it just makes it easier for you to get through the longer races because it doesn't it means you don't don't have to keep your finger on the controller the entire time but if it's not what you guys want to do in some cases you would prefer not to tape it down because there are some races where the car will like if there's too tight of turns and the car can't take it then it's gonna mess up and it's gonna spin out and it's gonna stay there until you fix it then you're gonna be in last place forever so if you guys want to avoid stuff like that then I would consider keeping my finger on the accelerator button because it just requires you to pay more attention to what's going on in the game but otherwise you guys are welcome to use this way, this method. Alright, now that you guys have seen what you have to do to the controller to get through the race, you guys are, are welcome to start the race and I'm going to show you the entire race just so you guys, guys know. Like, this entire race you guys are going to watch is without me touching the controller or anything. So if that's how you guys want to do this, then it's perfectly fine if you want to do it. I do this to make money all the time. All right. As you guys can see, the car has immediately went onto the driving line to, ask to start the race. You guys are going to rewind it, going to want to rewind it here and there because because of the starting line having a lot of NPCs, the car is going to act out because they're going to start pushing him out of the way and stuff like that. So you're going to be having to pay a lot of attention to the car in the first part of the race. Otherwise it's going to have a lot of interruptions from the NPCs, but like now it's driving completely on its own. And as soon as the NPCs are spread out a bit more, then it's easy to over for the AI to overtake them because it does not need you to help it because they're not busy pushing it out of the way the entire time. As you guys can see, it's clearly passing them without struggling. Alright, I'm just going to rewind here because as you guys could see that guy was pushing me out of the way so it screwed up my entire race. But you guys just have to be patient, the AI will eventually pass the racers, it just needs to have a bit of time to catch up to them and if they're not too, in too big of a heap then it's going to pass them without, a, without any trouble. Everything that you guys are seeing now is the AI doing it. Only times when I'm intervening is when I'm rewinding. No, no, none of the other times it's me driving. What I would suggest is that you guys use the AI racing more on the 
um, circuit races other and not on the street scenes because as you guys can see the street scenes does allow for um, like world cars like the cars that just appear naturally within the environment of the world it allows them to activate in the game so it's not then it's going to cause your AI to hit them and then it's going to spin out and cause a lot of trouble so I would suggest not doing it in the street scene because it does make it hard for the AI to do what's necessary. But as you guys can see the race is almost done and this was all done by the AI. Except for the rewind. But yes, that is the how-to on how to automatic to auto race. Or well, that's what I like to call it. But so yeah, if you guys like the video, please like and subscribe. And if you guys would like to know more about these how-to videos, then you guys are welcome to leave it down in the comments below. But without further ado, that's gonna be it. Thanks guys.